Welcome back to the garden tour for week two. Grab a drink. This one's a little longer than normal. So you can see here that I have put all of my vegetables outside. I still have another month until our last frost date, but it has been gorgeous here, so I'm trying to acclimate them. We have a whole bunch of snapdragons. Here is a shot of my garlic. I planted this garlic back in October. This is just one of my garlic barrette beds. On this half, I plan to plant uh, my tomatillo plants. Here are my peas. They're looking great. I've told you many times before that I love volunteers in my garden. And here is some calendula. And there's some broccoli with a dandelion. <laughs> if you've been following along for the last few weeks, you know that my groundhog ate a lot of my lettuce that I planted. Um, you can see it's starting to come back. This is an oak leaf lettuce. And then this lettuce, it actually looks like it's molding, but it's coming back. Here's another one. Get some more. There's also a ton of calendula here as well. There's a bigger one. And then if you look closely here, this is where all my ground cherries were last year. So they are starting to pop up. Strawberries, some marigolds my son planted. It's actually too early to plant these, but we're giving it a shot. This is something neat if you've never seen it. This is Proven Winter Strawberries and this is their pink variety and it has pink flowers. So usually, you have white flowers by strawberries, but on these they are pink and I actually have red ones as well, but none are flowering yet. Here are my zinnias. They're looking awesome. And actually I have a couple squash plants that I started that are out here. And then here's a look at the coleus we've been growing together. Here is a look at the oleums that are growing. They've gotten a lot bigger since last week. This will shoot up pretty high and get a beautiful purple bulb on the end. My lettuce is coming back. It was doing really well here, but it looks like the groundhog got this one again. Mm. This is my second garlic bed. And then on this side, I have leeks. If you look right here, here's a volunteer um, sunflower it's probably not going to do anything because we're dropping back down into the 30s this week so that would probably die but pretty cool okay and here is a new strawberry tower that my son planted this week here is a beautiful calendula plant it's growing and then we have my lettuce which is doing awesome so this lettuce is in an enclosure so it does better. Look at this. I think this is Marvel of Four Seasons. Oh, yeah. Marvel of Four Seasons there. It looks awesome. And this is doing great too. It all looks so good. So on the Romanesca, it's looking awesome. It's gotten really big. Look on the side. And if you from, remember from last week, pretty much all the leaves look like this. So this is a lot of new growth. This is awesome. And I have some red vein soil continues to look amazing. I'll be honest, I don't eat it. <laughs> it's just for beauty. Maybe I'll try to eat it more of it this, this year, but it's really pretty. And some peas. This is my celery. Here's the rhubarb. Here are some blue kale, some scarlet kale, and then some different cabbages. Dino kale here. Over here we have some more dill coming up, another calendula, and a beautiful Cimarron lettuce, and some chives. And then here we have two rows of carrots and some peas. I wanted to give you an update on the potatoes. Here you can see that they're starting to um, show some green growth. On the tops, there's a little more, and then on this side, these are the purple potatoes. So you can see they kind of have a purplish look to them. I need to put in some more soil on top of these. This is my fig tree. I just brought it outside this week, and it looks awesome. I planted this last year from a bare root I got at Tractor Supply. That's the end of Garden Tour Week 2. Thanks for sticking around. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like.